Brand new border numbers just released. Listen to this. CBP sources exclusively telling Fox that there have been more than one million migrant encounters since October 1st when our fiscal year began. It is the earliest this milestone has ever been reached. Welcome back, everybody. It's Simple Sun here. Um, as you just heard, Ainsley Earhart of uh, Fox and Friends uh, basically explained that Leading up to this year already. We're only in February. Remember, it's only been less than 40 days into the year. And we're already over a million people that we know of that cross the border. That we know of. And we already realize. I, I've done videos before. And you've, I'm pretty sure everybody else has seen videos uh, prior as well. CBP is doing less now than they've ever done before. So we're, we're facing a, a, a historic amount of people we don't know crossing into our border we have no idea who they are and prior than before they're coming from even different countries they're coming from china and and africa and even the middle east and we're we're, we're seeing this more and more and more and the numbers are growing and, and if you don't believe me we actually have the numbers again from another clip from fox news that points out uh, how many millions of people prior in other fiscal years have crossed into the border again we're only 40 days in so let's check that out you guys remember on day one of the biden administration he got rid of remain in mexico and then he thought he would be a little bit ambitious and he just stopped the the border wall being built and now he wants to blame republicans let's listen to the president every day between now and november the american people are going to know that the only reason the border is not secure is donald trump and his MAGA Republican friends. It's time for Republicans in the Congress to show a little courage, to show a little spine, to make it clear to the American people that you work for them, not for anyone else. I know who I work for. I work for the American people. But guys, the numbers tell a different story. If you look at the fiscal year of 2020, this is Biden taking office. It's less than a half a million people. And then you go over to 21, fiscal year 21, we're at 1.7 million crossings. And then you got 2.3 in 2022, and they keep getting better. Fiscal year 2023, 2.4 million people. So that's what's happening right now with the Biden administration. Okay, now you see that. Uh, you can see the obvious increase in the number of people going up. Um, what was it? Under 500,000 in 2020. I, I get what somebody's going to say. You know, we had uh, the COVID thing that year. So it's obviously going to be lower. A lot of stay in place orders. Great. But I'm pretty sure if you go back to 2019, the numbers were fairly similar. Um, as you see, an increase of almost four times a year later. Uh, six times the year after that. Um, not much of an increase, to be fair, in fiscal 2023. But I think it was just basically preparing to ramp up this year. Again, it's already over a million people. And we're seeing more than just people in our hemisphere uh, coming in. I did a story of uh, the head of the brother uh, Muslim Brotherhood from Azerbaijan coming in. He was, he, he was in prison. He was, he's literally a... a known terrorist he was arrested for 12 or 14 years uh, for terrorism in his own country for trying to overthrow governments and we had such a porous open border where nobody was stopping or nobody was questioning that he just basically walked in and then spit in people's faces when they asked him who he was um, you're going to find out who I am so we have uh, a new video of you know uh, basically an anti-Semitic um, Palestinian man. Um, we'll check that clip out. Come back talking about it again. Because I don't think... A lot of people want to pretend that these numbers are arbitrary. Or that we need individuals like this. Um, they are our savers. Our, our culture of richers. Um, the, basically the people that were born here. The natural born citizens. It's been here for years. Black, the white... And even Hispanic people um, that, that or came here legally and became citizens. Their children became citizens because of that. They deserve better. Because we're giving out our funds and our resources to people who do not belong here. Uh, 
that they are literally here illegally. That they the the fact that their existence is just criminal in itself. So we'll check out that clip and uh, we'll come right back. We have new video of yet another violent migrant attack, and you will not believe this one. This video doorbell footage shows a migrant stealing a pro-Israel flag from a Jewish family's Long Island home. And one of the members of this family, by the way, lost a relative in the October 7th terrorist attack by Hamas. And there you see this individual taking that pro-Israel flag. That homeowner rushed to get his flag back, but the migrant immediately began punching him in the head. You see it there. Put him in a chokehold, headbutted him at least once. That's all according to the homeowner and threw him to the ground. That migrant has been arrested and charged with a hate crime. Authorities say he's a Palestinian from North Africa. That's how he self-described. And he got into the U.S. illegally from Mexico back in November. At one point, the attacker repeated anti-Semitic slurs and was caught flipping the bird to a camera. That's becoming somewhat of a trend among these criminals. It was just like the migrant accused of attacking two NYPD officers. What an image. See, things like this are happening way too often. Again, um, as I just said, it happened in New York with a, over a dozen uh, illegals uh, attacking and physically assaulting uh, our police officers while they were were doing their duty. Now this, and you know, the shameful thing is this will probably get a little bit more outrage, you know, in the long term because, uh, you know, they consider it a hate crime, which I believe any illegal immigrant from any country at any t point in time attacking Americans isn't a hate crime in itself. I, I get that you discriminated against, you know, someone who was Jewish, uh, pro-Israel, whatever, but you're attacking Americans too, so that makes you anti-American. It feels like you're an ent enemy combatant at some point. Literally, the gall, the nerve, how could you, you know, wh how, would you ever walk up to somebody's house and rip off a flag of any sort, of any kind, and then proceed to attack the gentleman as he's trying to get his property back? We're so divided in this nation. We're, we're so intertwined and, and inner fighting between ourselves you know uh, uh black people saying white people are horrible uh well, white people are so worried about ukraine um everybody's fighting everybody else lgbtq nonsense and craziness with that we're so we're so torn apart at the seams that we don't see it we don't see that the fact that millions upon millions upon millions of people are creeping into a land that, that has its own culture and has its own traditions and has its own rights and ways, it's going to change. There's going to become a, there, there's going to be some headbutting eventually. There's going to be an all out war. It's not even technically a civil war because they don't belong here. It doesn't matter what country they came from. Again, they could be Eastern Europeans, they could be Russians, they could be Chinese, they could be Middle Eastern, they could be Mexican, they could be South American, Central American. It does not matter. At the end of the day, you don't belong here. We did not give you permission. The give us your tired, give us your your, your willing to be free, yearning to be free, and all that, you know, that whole platitude, that was an invitation put out there for certain people as a as a platitude as it as a line of hey you know an open legal sense of immigration of processing people you're not processing these people well you're saying you're processing you're not processing anybody there is no legal recourse they're just basically chanching across the border and you're providing them with our tax dollars. And then they're attacking our citizens for their beliefs. Uh, and then you got to turn around and charge them with a hate crime. You didn't charge them for illegally invading our country in the first place. But now you're going to charge them with a hate crime? Doesn't that seem ridiculous to you? So you're particular on which crime you're charging these individuals with for what purpose. So it, 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 you insulted... America, the Americans attacked us, you know, that's not getting charged, but the fact that this person tore down a Jewish flag now is getting charged with a hate crime, it just seems a little suspect to me on, you know, 
where your actual loyalties lie a little bit. Um, so, I mean, there's a question there that needs to be answered. Uh, hopefully it does get answered. Um, we seem to be doing more and more of these stories every day where, you know, people who don't belong here, cr actual criminals are coming in and attacking us on our own land for our own beliefs, regardless of whether you agree with it or not. Hopefully that, you know, this person gets the book thrown at them. They'll probably just get deported and they'll come back across the border again. And, uh... Is something else horrible will happen. Um, but until then, I'm Simple Son. Um, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Share this. Uh, keep coming back more. I try to do videos daily. Um, check out my shorts. Uh, check me out on Twitter at Simple underscore Son 1776. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.